Nigerians looking for alternatives to PDP and APC. We must crop it, Governor Obaseke said. I hope these people will understand this. The governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseke, on Tuesday stated that the future of politics in the country is changing, along with the frontiers of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party. According to Governor Obaseke, Nigerians are no longer looking in the direction of the APC and the PDP. He said many Nigerians are looking for an alternative to the two parties. Obaseke made this observation during an interview with Africa Independent Television on the just concluded Ekiti governorship election. He therefore urged the leadership of this party, PDP, to work towards cropping the trend by making their party alternative to Nigerians again. He said, How can PDP, the party, not win? He asked. They were not even number two so you can see that something is going on and we do not want this to be a trend the future of our politics in the country is changing i do not know whether you are closely watching what is going on the level of disenchantment within the parties i am sure in all our homes now we have so many people now who call themselves obedient. I don't know whether you have them in your house. Just ask them, which party are you? They say obedient. You understand? They do not want us. They are not talking about PDP or APC. They are looking for alternatives. And they are many. You see all of them queuing for their PVC, the permanent voters card now. They are not looking at the direction of PD, PDP or APC now. They are looking for alternatives. If we do not crop this, if we do not make our party attractive, I do not know what will happen in the next elections. People who call themselves obedient are supporters of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, he said. <laughs> I think I love this. You see, well... Uh, they have been pretending those of them who are coming out to tell us peter obi do not have structure this and this and that and all that but they are just afraid they are being threatened by peter obi's movement and that is the truth they are being threatened by peter obi's movement thank god they understand all this with what is going on right now nigerians are saying no more pdp and the uh, apc a party. In fact, we are tired of them. They failed us woefully. They failed us. There is nothing, you know, to tell home about these two ruling party. Understand? Thank God they now understand. Someone said, my governor, you need to join this movement because even the PDP are not making you enjoy your governance in our dear states. In, P in Peter Obi, we trust. Bring Kwankwasu and Rocha Sokorocha, I and my family will gladly vote Kwankwasu. Bring Professor Yemi Osibranjo and Atiku Abubaka, I will vote and campaign for Osibranjo. It is not about a tribe and religion, but it's about competency and vision. Hence, I'm casting my vote on Peter Obi, not because he's a true leader, he has shown true character of leadership. Exactly. I am very happy that Nigerians are walk, waking up, say no to PDP and the APC. Enough is enough. So get your PVC and let us fight a good fight of faith. Yes, we can in Jesus' name. Yes, you are very smart, sir. To be sincere, APC and PDP are gone already. Everyone can understand their language. The obedient are only waiting for the day both mentioned parties would present money for the youth and they will collect it and still remain obedient to the Labour Party as born again members. Things have absolutely changed in Nigeria. Political arena and no amount of money can reverse their holy political journey for the total rescue 
of Peter Obi's presidential ambition. Please, if you can't beat them, join them. And that is a simple marathon of regaining anybody's political respect in Nigeria. I have spoken as a former politician. These people not get shame or chai. We can see that APC and PDP is just one people ganging up and playing us. Carl, you must be deluded, sir. You have failed. It is now time to look for alternative. This stupid structure, if not people have been brainwashed, treating it, treating it as if it's something unchangeable, unchangeable, the structure needs totally to be changed. And I believe it can. It can. It can change. Okay. If we agree, it can change. Enough of these people who think Nigeria is their private property. They can toil it, do it, do anything they like with it. And nobody dare to question. This time around, if they try anything. In fact, God not even let them reach that day. Anybody who is planning evil before that day, God will remove the person. Keep for one side. You understand? Because we have gone through a lot. We have suffered so much. You understand? And Nigerians are are angry they are aggrieved all these things all this movement you are seeing what you are seeing right now is aggrieved nigerian youth they want to take back their country from those who feel that it belongs to them you understand these are aggrieved nigerian youth and um what these people should not try to do <laughs> if they try to do rigging they will know that the youths also, they have gone digital. You understand? They have gone di di digital. You know, when people say, Peter Obi cannot win, he cannot be president, he does not have structure, this and that. Answer started like this on social media. Even the government underrated it. I'm not trying to compare the two because it's a different uh, stuff. And while, while I'm just bringing it in, I am talking about social media. It's all started on social media. Even the government, Gabashi, I remember then, Gabashi was a vague. What are they doing? They are just, they are just making noise, this and that. It's just, you know, social media stuff and all that. They fear their fear when they saw what's on ground. The day this thing will be for them, by that time, their eye go clear, say, it's not going to be business as usual. Nigerians have wisened up. I am dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.